Good day, this is Mass X with a brand new, yes, One Punch Man, the strongest video. And there was some big news that came out last week that I didn't get to touch on because I was just a little too busy with real life stuff. And that is the discussion of what came out that the original developers for this game were able to obtain the copyright of the third season anime. That's pretty big news actually. I've played in quite a few of these types of games through the years where they have not acquired subsequent <laughs> licenses. Like, for instance, Bleach games that never get the Thousand Year Blood War, which sucks. <laughs> but, so what does that really mean for us global players? Well, first off, let's discuss what's gonna be happening. It's gonna start in China, in C, and of course we're last in line because we're behind everybody. But basically they also stated that there was gonna be no UR pluses, okay? And so the new series of characters that will come out in 2025 in jurisdictions that are at that point sounds like they're going to just be URs and they're going to be based off of season three once it goes online. Very cool actually. They also tout that their um, the new system's combat power attributes have been greatly improved. In the future you may be matched with people of your own strength. New areas should not encounter old areas. The harvesting at gym trials and so on are going to be optimized and reduced. Home training will be optimized in the near future. The third season animation um, is on the game is online and the game can be synchronized online. The voice may be customized by voice actors in the future. Blah, 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 blah. Cumulative recharge reward will increase. You know, it goes on. It's a lot of general things. But the big thing to take out about this is with them attaining that copyright for season three, it is gonna allow them to use characters from season three and from the gist of it is instead of moving forward, you know, we've had SSR pluses, URs, instead of going to a UR plus, they're gonna hold off and make more URs, but they're gonna be based off the anime once it comes online, which is kind of cool actually, if you think about it. So, of course, only time will tell when this releases. I do have accessibility to a Chinese account. I do have a C account. Um, so as soon as we see any of this, you know, I'm going to be very interested to check it out. But what, what does it mean in the long run for global? Well, it just means they're just continuing new content. So this game is not going anywhere, okay? Because it doesn't cost them. I've said this over and over again. Their initial investment is for, you know, Chinese. And then everything else just flows down to the other areas. So the cost is not as high in C. The cost is even lower in global. Why? Because it's just being reused resources with really very little effort having to be expended or cost. So yeah, it's just free money in the end for the most part for the publisher and developer with nominal effort. So good news though, that really is actually. If you're a fan, knowing that they are going to be able to um, have the rights to this and be able to use it is actually really encouraging. So, and if the anime does well, hopefully it won't be as long between seasons as it was previously. Oy. But yeah, very excited about that. Very cool stuff. So with that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Have a great day.